Hello everyone. This is a third lecture of HSTR Electronics chapter. In this class, I am going to discuss all about logic gates just within fifteen minutes. And believe me, within this fifteen minutes, you will be able to answer two questions which will compulsorily come in HSTR examination. Okay, based on the previous twenty fifteen question paper, we expect two questions from this part. so i request you all to please watch this class carefully and try to make notes because it is just 15 minutes class okay in our previous two lectures we have completed this syllabus which i have underlined with red color in this video i am going to discuss all about logic gates and or not nor and nand gates and uh, before starting the video i would request you all if you are new to this channel please subscribe to my channel and if you are already watching this channel from few days then please like and share my videos so that these videos can reach more and more hstr and cris aspirants and they all also will get benefited from these videos now this electronics which we also called as digital electronics is very much different from what we have discussed in our last two classes that is the pn junction diode classes and the transistor classes we have two types of signals analog signals and digital signals here we talk about digital signals digital signals they can be of two types they can be high or they can be low so these digital signals we can describe them using an different type of algebra known as boolean algebra and logic gates are those devices which work on basis of this boolean algebra now this entire boolean algebra it can be described just by two digits that is 0 and 1 there are few operations between this 0 and 1 those operations they are just nothing but addition multiplication and complement but we name them here as or operation and operation and not operation this 0 and 1 you call 0 as low down or no or off okay these are all the words you use for zero and for one you say high up s or on means zero and one means either you say low high or you say down up or you say no yes or you say off and on okay this is about zero and one what does zero and one mean means it is so much only now if the operation between that zero and one is addition then you call it as a or operation if the operation between 0 and 1 is multiplication you call it as a and operation you denote it by dot it is same like mathematics only and not operation means it is complement complement means if you are taking complement of 0 then your answer will be 1 if you are taking complement of 1 then your answer will be 0 it is like that now we are talking about two inputs here there will be two inputs and there will be one output now these two inputs they will be either zeros or ones or any one will be zero or any one will be one that means we are playing just with zero and one here so we make a table to write those inputs and whatever answer we are getting we calling it as output we make tables those tables we call them as truth tables now we can make it for all the three operations or and and not If R is there means you are just adding those zeros, zero and zero. It will be zero. Zero and one. It will be one. One plus zero will be one. And one plus one here in digital electronics there is no place for two, right? We are talking only about zero and one, low and high, off or on, isn't it? So here one plus one it will not be two. One plus one will be one only. Means one plus one is a high output. Now high output here you denote by one only. There is no place for two here. Same thing in AND operation. You are multiplying, right? Zero into zero will be zero. Zero into one will be zero. One into zero will be zero. And one into one will be one only. Here you don't need to worry because in maths also one into one is one. Now talking about NOT operation, I told you, right? Zero complement will be one, and complement of one will be zero. This is your NOT operation. Now logic gate comes into picture. This one is a digital circuit. and it uses boolean algebra or it implements boolean algebra this logic gate it works according to logical relationship between the voltages the input and the output voltages see for example if this is a logic gate there will be two inputs usually 
one gate will have one input also that is not gate that i will tell you later now basically logic gate it will have two inputs you name it as a and b then output will be one that you usually name it as y now what will be your y is dependent on what logic gate you are using and that logic gate it uses boolean algebra that's why your output will be a boolean expression now there are three types of gates or gate and gate and not gate these are the three basic gates there are few more gates which are depended on this or gate and and gate so i'm not mentioning it here right now we will talk about it later but for instance there are three important main basic gates the logic gates they are or gate and gate and not gate let's talk about or gate first see we were talking about the expression of the addition right or is nothing but a addition here in digital electronics so here if you make a truth table with 0 0 1 0 0 1 and 1 1 now what will be your output your output should be the addition of these numbers a and b right so you write it as a plus b then because output will be a plus b then you see the inputs here 0 plus 0 will be 0 so 0 will be output then if input are 1 and 0 then 1 plus 0 will be 1 then your output will be 1 then if input is 0 and 1 that means any one input is 1 and other is 0 then your output will be 1 if both inputs are 1 then you add it and the output will be a high that means it will be 1 okay this is about or gate and this is the symbol of the or gate now let's talk about and gate this is the symbol of the and gate in the same manner like we added here with the inputs now we multiply the inputs here if the input is 0 and 0 output will be 0 if the input is 1 and 0 output will be 0 then if both inputs are 1 that means if both inputs are high then output will be 1 this is your and gate now is the not gate this not gate it will have only one input because we are taking complement right so if the complement of 0 it will be 1 and the complement of 1 will be 0 if input is 0 output will be 1 if input is 1 output will be 0 okay so these are all the gates and one more important point is that not gate it is giving you the inverse answer right whatever your question is there it will give you inverse of that question that will be your answer so you also called not gate as a inverter so this they can ask you as a mcq not gate can also be treated as a inverter now keeping these three gates in mind you can play with or gate and not gate and make one more gate or you can play with and gate and not gate and you can make one more gate okay so or gate and not gate will give you one gate you call it as nor gate and gate and not gate they will also give you one more gate you call it as nand gate now let's talk about nor gate how nor gate is constructed you are giving or gate as a input of not gate okay so this is the symbol for a nor gate what will be the truth table for this input will be same right but output will be different what will be the output for or gate what we have learned just now we are adding it right so this will be the output for or gate now nor gate it will be opposite of or gate that means you are taking complement of the input that is the rule for nor gate right what does nor gate do it gives you the complement of the input so you are taking the opposite thing now so your nor gate will have opposite output of or gate see here if both inputs are zero output will be zero for or gate that's why for nor gate the complement of zero will be one okay and if the inputs are either one or zero then output for or gate will be one but for nor gate you have to take complement of this one so your nor gate will be zero and for both the inputs are high means one then your or gate will give you output as one now you take complement of this this will give you an or gate okay this is all about nor gate you have to remember this now let's talk about nand gate in the same manner the way you put or gate in the not gate now you put the and gate as input of not gate so that and gate it will become opposite now it will become complement now that complement is given by not gate isn't it so you call it as nand gate because it is complement of and gate now the symbol will be like this what you do you to take one circle from the not gate and you put it in the and gate that will become your nand gate 
and inputs will be same of course then output will be a into b for and gate then what will be output for nand gate it will be complement of a into b okay if you are getting output of nand gate as 0 0 0 and 1 you should get uh, for nand gate the opposite numbers 1 1 1 0 so you have to remember that nand gate is the one gate where your output will become 0 if both inputs are 1 Now just a summary, quick summary. See, these are the truth tables for OR gate, AND gate, and NOT gate. Then what will be the truth table for NOR gate? It will be the complement of OR gate. Then what will be the truth table for NAND gate? It will be complement of AND gate. Okay, this you have to remember. And for NOR gate and NAND gate, you put a circle in front of OR gate and NAND gate respectively. Now these two gates which we made using. or gate and not gate and gate and not gate we call them as nor gate and nand gates these are known as universal logic gates why because you can use uh, this two nand gates if you use two nand gates one nand gate you use it as a input of the other nand gate then you will get and gate again in the same manner you use it one input as or gate of another nor gate then you get a or gate that's the reason why you can use these logic gates especially the nand gate and nor gates as universal logic gates so you can have a question like this nand and nor gates are called universal gates primarily because they can be combined to produce or and and nor gates option b will be the right answer okay now like we took inputs as 0 and 1 we can use as them as switch also right like on and off either we say high and low or we say on and off right so here you can see that this is a or gate here in a or gate what is happening if both the switches are off then your output will be zero that means your bulb will not glow then if any one switch is on then the bulb may glow because these two switches they are connected in parallel then again if both the switches are on then your bulb will surely glow okay now what happens in and gate see here in and gate both switches they are connected in series so if any one switch is off also your bulb will not glow the bulb will glow only in one condition that condition is both the switches must be on okay so then only your bulb will glow this will give you the and gate resemblance now i have a uh, three examples the way they can ask you as mcqs in your hstr or crise exam first question is an or gate gives a logic one output when does a or gate give you a logic one output it will give you only when any one of the inputs is logically one either it will be 1 0 it will be 0 1 or 1 1 okay at least one input should be one Next question is a NAND gate is called universal logic element because why is it called as a universal logic element because you can make any logic function using NAND gates alone. See, if you use only two NAND gates, you can make AND gate, isn't it? So that is why you call it as a universal logic gate. Next question: Which one of the following truth table represents an AND gate? You should know it by now, isn't it? if both inputs are high only then output will be high now these two questions are from your hstr previous year question paper first question is this is the truth table for the logic gate this question i will not tell the answer now i want you all to give the answer for this question in the comment section okay i am looking forward to see your answers in the comment section Next question is a logic circuit whose output will be in logic zero state only when all inputs are in logic one state is called. See here they are asking you that your output will be zero when all inputs will be one. So for this you have to realize the AND gate. Here in AND gate output will be zero if any one is zero. Output will be one if both are one. Now they are asking us output should be zero, right? That means you have to take the complement of and gate that is your nand gate okay so this was all about your logic gates 
so if you watch this video completely then i am sure that you can answer any question comes from this topic okay thank you all the best bye